how to get a sales job. Hey, what's up? This is Pete Scott here, sales and business mentor for the 1%. If you're checking in here for the first time, first of all, I thank you for being here. Secondly, hit the subscribe button because every single day, let me repeat, every single day, I'm providing valuable content on how to grow your sales career, how to double, triple, even times 10 your sales overall, how to get more leads, and how to do it in a way that makes sense for today's market and not attached to all these you know click funnels and landing pages and all that stuff i'm talking about the real life skills real sales skills i've helped over 400 companies to increase their sales over the years thousands of sales professionals so guess what you are in the right place this video how to get a sales job it's a little bit different to some of the videos i've done here many of the videos i've done here on youtube uh, usually my videos are around running your own business being an entrepreneur stepping up and making your sales happen but i wanted to do this video because i believe it's so important that we're not just obsessing over that we need to set up our own business not everybody is either ready or wants to do their own business. Perhaps you've actually clicked onto this video because you want a sales job. So fantastic, I will be sharing with you exactly how to land that first sales job, even if you have no experience over the next few minutes. But make sure you stick around to the end because I wanna make sure you've got all those steps in place and comment below the main thing that relates to you and the first action that you're gonna take. Guess what, I wanna hear it, I'll reply to you personally. So get those comments in the comment section below. But, but first of all, uh, let's answer this question. Why in the world would you even want a sales job? Well, a number of reasons, right? Number one, because you're in a career right now where you feel that you know, it's so limited. And you know, you're sure you can get your pay increases every single year, but that's pretty much as far as you're going to, going to go. In a sales role, the fantastic thing about it is that you create your own pay rise because you're going to be earning commission, bonus and therefore you get to get a direct reflection upon your skill set upon your performance that's the great thing about selling is that you're no longer a wage slave you are now in a situation where you get a direct mirror wow i'm performing therefore i'm getting paid that's the great thing about a sales role but also as well the great thing about working in a sales role is it teaches us these communication skills how to influence how to get to yes in life and a lot of people don't know this but we spend most of our day trying to influence people anyway you're trying to influence them of your ideas you're trying to influence them uh, to do something different with their life and so if you're going to be influencing people you may as well get paid for it the other great thing about doing sales instead of maybe another career is on the basis that you can create that autonomy. You can work from home. You can uh, travel as you do it. You, you can uh, increase all of these skills, as I've already mentioned. Uh, but here's what I'm seeing at the moment is that a lot of people who have these cravings to, to do these sorts of things, these desires, I want to go out there and, and create my own lifestyle. They've been told and I believe effectively lied to by the personal development industry that you should live your dream, that you should uh, quit what you're doing and burn the bridges and uh, burn the boats and, and take the island. But here's the problem. If you burn the boats and take the island, but you don't have the, the skill or the wisdom to be able to make that island grow and to be able to eat from that island, then you're still going to end up in the same situation broke or dead yeah maybe not dead but if you're on the island you get what i mean so i don't think it is always about just quitting your job and living your dream i believe that there is another way and whether you're here because you are thinking about your own business but you're not sure if you should do it then another way can be and i strongly recommend this to go out there and find a fantastic sales job that, or even, even a crappy sales job, but something that gets you in front of more people, to so have more conversations. So you build the skills, you, you acquire the knowledge to go out there and eventually do your own business, if that's even what you want to do. A lot of people though, they, they don't believe in being a salesperson because it has that negative association with it. We, when we think of a salesperson, we think of the briefcase, the fast talking, the, the, the pushy type of salesperson, but that is not actually what is it. That is not a successful salesperson today. A successful salesperson today is somebody who has empathy, somebody who can engage in the right conversations and effectively coach their customer to making the right decision and inspire and educate that person. So, uh, and the, the biggest confirmation that you are good at your job is that you get that yes. 
let's sign this contract let's let's make this ten thousand pound commitment and that allows you so much more confidence in your life for me personally a lot of people don't know this about me that before i ever sold my own product i've sold millions of pounds i mean it's millions of pounds of other people's and other companies products and services and i was very happy to do this because during that time the company was taking the risk the company was uh, delivering on the product all i had to do was focus on that one thing sales understanding how to influence understanding how to get generate more leads and this is such an underrated skill out there and this whole jump from you know just working in, in in a business to going to set up your own company is exactly why most people end up washed out because they they lack this one important skill the ability to sell so i want you to think about this first of all if you went and worked in a sales role how would that give you confidence personally how would that help you to build skills that you can take into any business you ever decide to start in the future what would it do for your life overall if you know that you create your own pay rise you see there's some of the benefits of of working in a sales role the next step is saying well this is great Pete but how do I get that sales job here's some tips for you number one is to immerse yourself into the learning process you've done great you're here i thank you for being here if you've not hit the subscribe button yet what are you waiting for it is time to take sales seriously most people in sales they end up falling into it that's why they don't perform and they are simply being a reactive salesperson there i've been teaching sales for 10 plus years but every single day i mean it's every single day I continue to learn about sales this morning i was listening to a podcast on influencing i know tonight i'm going to listen a little bit like 30 minutes on sales strategy i want to know what is the way to sell this is a huge skill that people believe that they can just learn quickly and then they can go and perform the moment you believe you know everything about sales is the moment you you know nothing and the moment that you will begin to struggle and the moment that the ego kicks in and we have all these problems that go with it but the humble learner the student even when you're the master and the master knows this that the, the, they are the student so be the student of sales from today if you want to land that sales job become the student of selling my next tip for you here is to define the difference if you don't know this already between b2c selling business to consumer and b2b selling b2c selling is actually you, you do a lot more work in fact as far as activities every single day but you're selling to the consumer market so maybe you work in retail maybe you work in uh, selling gym memberships however the pay generally is not going to be as high. It can still help you get those skills. It can build up some disciplines. And this is why, another reason why um, I recommend a sales job so much is because it helps you to get disciplined because you have to step up. When times are crap, you've got to overcome them and still keep your focus. But start to define the difference between B2C and B2B selling. The B2B side of things, you're working with big solutions. Right now I'm working with a, a client here in London and they, they deal in multi-million pound solutions. So we're talking about very complex you know, solutions, but if you break it down, it's still people it's h to h human to human the authenticity comes through but being able to solve problems for their customers and being a you know understanding the issues that their customers are having better than the customers know themselves and then recommending the right thing is a beautiful process to see all the way through sales is an art and it's a science and as you discover you know this b2c and b2b market you can figure out well where where do you want to be personally if i was going to go and get a sales job tomorrow i'm going straight to b2b because with b2b i have massive earning potential the client i'm working right now uh, with right now their entire sales team earn well over six figures so i don't know how that works for you but you know as a sales job is concerned that's that's a pretty good earner right now one of the sales uh, sales team is earning more than the board the board of directors yeah not combined but individually because he's bringing in over 10 million pounds in revenues per year so to find the difference between b2c and b2b next up you've got to be coachable and when you go 
to these interviews and you're going to get interviews is that when you go in there what you lack in experience you have to make up for in your coachability and to say what a fast learner you will be to say that um, that you will do everything and anything that it takes to learn how to sell that product also let the interviewer know that you are already investing in yourself show that you care about this thing called sales that will go far further than someone who's got eight year eight years experience in sales when i'm recruiting for my business i don't care about how long somebody has been selling for i care about their coachability i care that they are already investing in themselves to learn the art and the science of sales next up is that when you're having that interview don't only just sit there and answer the questions but go prepared and here's my trick for you to come across far better in the interviewer's eyes what you do is that when you get to the interview uh, the end of the interview and the interviewer says to you do you have any questions for me say yeah absolutely i, I do um, and then you ask these two questions you ask a number of questions i'll share these two for now um, the first one is this you're going to say i'm just wondering who is the top performer uh, in your company and let them say the top performer and then say what what qualities and what strengths do you see within that performer um, or that, that top performer and let them tell you that person now is telling you what they are looking for in a salesperson they'll say oh they've got great time management they are proactive uh, they are out there hunting for business well you just learned that from them and if you're really confident at this point you can say i know that i haven't done any sales myself I, I don't have the experience but do you see that any of those qualities that you just mentioned about your top performer in me what have you done now you just placed yourself in the interviewer's eyes as a top performing salesperson before you even got started i don't put pressure on you but you know it is about having that confidence and knowing that you can step up and make it happen my final tip for you on today's video in how to get a sales job don't do what the majority do because you will get what the majority get and usually that isn't much instead what i want you to do is to start approaching companies think about it be like the salesperson already getting a job is a sale you are going out there to win a piece of business so instead of waiting and sitting and applying online start approaching companies today the companies i wanted to work for in the past instead of waiting for them to have a job opportunity i will go and knock on their doors i will speak to i'll ask you know what decision maker i need to speak to who in the hr department or the sales department i promise you if you went out there today and you spoke to 20 companies by the end of the day you'll have at least an interview if not a sales job so i want you to think about these things if you want to say more on how to get your dream sales job comment below but thank you for joining me i'll see you in our next video